Lightning. It's all inspiring from afar, but deadly up close. While the sheer power of a direct lightning strike is more than enough to kill a person, there are actually lots of bizarre, lesser known ways that lightning can send you to an early grave. Lightning is the result of positive and negative electrical charges interacting. The charges are constantly attracted to each other. But during a thunderstorm, and especially inside clouds, huge fields of negative and positive energy are created and then kept apart. Eventually, the charges build up so much that they overwhelm this interference and collide, causing lightning. These collisions typically happen inside and between clouds. But the usually positive charge of the ground below can also connect with the usually negative charge found at the bottom of a cloud, causing a lightning strike. The average lightning bolt has about 300 million volts and 30,000 amps of energy, and it heats the air that it passes through to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's five times higher than the surface of the sun. So obviously, taking on the heat and electricity of a direct hit is easily fatal. People tend to actually be unappealing primary targets for lightning, though. When lightning wants to reach the ground, it gets there about as easily as it can. And that's often by hitting the tallest thing around. So direct human strikes are pretty rare and only make up a tiny percentage of lightning deaths. About as rare as a direct hit is a contact strike, which happens when we're touching something that's been struck by lightning. Lightning can also jump from one object, like a tree, to another, like a person, if it helps the bolt get to the ground faster. These bolts are called side flashes, and they're probably responsible for about a third of lightning deaths. There are even some accounts of side flashes jumping from one person to another, like the worst possible game of tag imaginable. People are most often killed by the current created when lightning finally reaches the ground. This current spreads out like a circle, and it can travel along our body, climbing up one leg and down the other before it continues on its way. And while this current might not be as powerful as a direct hit, it can still be enough to disturb our natural electrical rhythm and stop our heart. More recently, science has found there's actually a fifth kind of lightning death. When the conditions for lightning are right, lots of things on the ground build up a positive charge, and that can include us. And even when these pockets of positive charge, called streamers, don't meet a negative charge, they can still simultaneously send off a powerful discharge when lightning happens nearby. And this shock is also powerful enough to stop the heart. If that's not scary enough, there might even be a sixth way of dying from lightning. Sometimes victims have injuries that don't really make sense, given how we understand electricity and heat to affect the body. These injuries include burst eardrums, internal bruises, and torn but not scorched clothing. Some researchers think that these people have actually been killed by a potent shockwave of sound created by the bolt. At this point, that's just the theory, but lab experiments have found some evidence for it. Regardless of how it happens, you should at least take comfort in the fact that lightning doesn't kill nearly as many people as it used to. An average of 47 Americans a year die from lightning, compared to the hundreds seen in past decades. And 2017 actually had the lowest ever recorded toll in modern history, with only 16 deaths, while 20 people have died from lightning so far in 2018. These improvements are largely thanks to infrastructure that directs lightning away from people, as well as better awareness on how to avoid being struck. Speaking of safety, now, the best thing you can probably do for yourself is to stay indoors during and at least 30 minutes after a thunderstorm. One once common outdoor tip that won't really help is crouching as low as you can. But if you do end up outside, avoid high places or standing under isolated tall structures like trees. <laughs>